A pig is any of the animals in the genus Sus, within the Suidae family of even toed ungulates. Pigs include the domestic pig and its ancestor, the common Eurasian wild boar, along with other species. Related creatures outside the genus include the peccary, the babirusa, and the warthog. Pigs, like all sewards, are native to the Eurasian and African continents. Juvenile pigs are known as piglets. Pigs are omnivores and are highly social and intelligent animals. Etymology The online etymology dictionary provides anecdotal evidence as well as linguistic, saying that the term derives probably from Old English asterisk picg, found in compounds, ultimate origin unknown. Originally, young pig, apparently related to lodum and big, Dutch big. Another Old English word for pig was fear, related to fur, furrow, from pi asterisk perk, dig, furrow. This reflects a widespread i.e. tendency to name animals from typical attributes or activities, Roger Lass. Synonyms grunter, porkera from sailors and fishermen's euphemistic avoidance of uttering the word pig at sea. A superstition perhaps based on the fate of the Gadarene swine, who drowned. The online etymology dictionary also traces the evolution of so, the term for a female pig, through various historical languages. Old English sagu, su, female of the swine, from Proto-Germanic asterisk su, from Pi root asterisk su, possibly imitative of pig noise. A notion reinforced by the fact that Sanskrit sukara means maker of su. It is entirely likely that the word to call pigs, su i.e., is similarly derived. Description and behavior. A typical pig has a large head with a long snout which is strengthened by a special prenasal bone and by a disc of cartilage at the tip. The snout is used to dig into the soil to find food and is a very acute sense organ. There are four hoof toes on each trotter, with the two larger central toes bearing most of the weight, but the outer two also being used in soft ground. The dental formula of adult pigs is 3.1.4, 33.1.4.3, giving a total of 44 teeth. The rear teeth are adapted for crushing. In the male the canine teeth form tusks, which grow continuously and are sharpened by constantly being ground against each other. Occasionally, captive mother pigs may savage their own piglets, often if they become severely stressed. Some attacks on newborn piglets are non-fatal. Others may cause the death of the piglets and sometimes the mother may eat the piglets. It is estimated that 50% of piglet fatalities are due to the mother attacking or unintentionally crushing the newborn pre-weaned animals. Distribution and evolution. With around 1 billion individuals alive at any time, the domesticated pig is one of the most numerous large mammals on the planet. The ancestor of the domesticated pig is the wild boar, which is one of the most numerous and widespread large mammals. Its many subspecies are native to all but the harshest climates of continental Eurasia and its islands and Africa as well, from Ireland and India to Japan and north to Siberia. Although it has been exterminated in some areas, its numbers are stable, or even increasing rapidly, in most of its native range. Long isolated from other pigs on the many islands of Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines, pigs have evolved into many different species, including wild boar, bearded pigs, and warty pigs. Humans have introduced pigs into Australia, North and South America, and numerous islands, either accidentally as escaped domestic pigs which have gone feral, or as wild boar. These have typically adapted well, and are increasing in number and broadening their range outside human control. Habitat and reproduction The wild pig can take advantage of any forage resources. Therefore, it can live in virtually any productive habitat that can provide enough water to sustain large mammals such as pigs. If there is increased foraging of wild pigs in certain areas, it can cause a nutritional shortage which can cause the pig population to decrease. If the nutritional state returns to normal, the pig population will most likely rise due to the pig's naturally increased reproduction rate. Diet and foraging 
Pigs are omnivores, which means that they consume both plants and animals. In the wild, they are foraging animals, primarily eating leaves, grasses, roots, fruits, and flowers. In confinement, pigs are fed mostly corn and soybean meal with a mixture of vitamins and minerals added to the diet. Traditionally they were raised on dairy farms and called mortgage lifters due to their ability to use the excess milk as well as whey from cheese and butter making combined with pasture. Older pigs will consume 3 to 5 gallons of water per day. Relationship with humans Domesticated pigs, called swine, are raised commercially for meat as well as for leather. Their bristly hairs are also used for brushes. Due to their common use as livestock, adult swine have gender-specific names. The males are boars and the females are sows. In Britain, the word hog can refer to a castrated adult male pig. Young swine are called piglets or pigs. Pork is one of the most popular forms of meat for human consumption, accounting for 38% of worldwide meat production. Pigs that are allowed to forage may be watched by swine herds. Because of their foraging abilities and excellent sense of smell, they are used to find truffles in many European countries. Both wild and feral pigs are commonly hunted. Some breeds of pig, such as the Asian pot-bellied pig, are kept as pets. There are two instances in the 2000s where farm hogs ate human beings. The first was in 2004 in Romania, where a woman died after her ears. Half of her face and her fingers were consumed, the other in 2012 in Oregon, whether the farmer was killed by his hogs or died of another cause before. Being consumed is unknown. Species The genus Sus is currently thought to contain 10 living species. A number of extinct species are known from fossils. Susahernobar Butiway, 1888 Palawan Bearded Pig Sus Australis Han, 1987 Early Pleistocene of China. Sus Babatis Muller, 1838 Bornean Bearded Pig. Sus B. Jashanatis Han Al, 1975 Early Pleistocene of China. Sus Buculantus Huda, 1892 Hudes Pig or Indo Chinese Warty Pig. Sus Sebifrance Huda, 1888 Visayan Warty Pig. Sus Celebensis Muller and Schlegel, 1843 Celebes Warty Pig or Sulawesi Warty Pig. Sus Falconery, Pleistocene of the Sawalak region, India. Sus Hao Chi Al, 1999 Pleistocene of China. Sus Hysidricus. Sus Zhao Shenansis Zhao, 1980 Early Pleistocene of China. Sus Liu Shengensis Han, 1987 Early Pleistocene of China. Sus Lai Dekari Zadansky, 1928 Pleistocene of China. Sus Ephesinalis Kernigswald, 1933 China. Sus Oliveri Groves, 1997 Oliver's Warty Pig or Mindoro Warty Pig. Sus Pei Han, 1987 Early Pleistocene of China. Sus Philippensis Nering, 1886 Philippine Warty Pig. Sus Scrofa, Wild Ball Aeus, 1758 Sus Scrofa Domestica Urxlaben, 1777 Domestic Pig. Sus Subtrica Trazu, 1981. Sus Strot C. Sus Verucosis Boy, 1832 Javan Warty Pig. Sus Xiao Zhuhan Al, 1975 Early Pleistocene of China. The pygmy hog, formerly Sus salvanius, is now placed in the monotypic genus Porcula. Domestic pigs. Pigs have been domesticated since ancient times in the Old World. Archaeological evidence suggests that pigs were being managed in the wild in a way similar to the way they are managed by some modern New Guineans. From wild boar as early as 13,000 minus 12,700 BP in the Near East in the Tigris Basin. Remains of pigs have been dated to earlier than 11,400 BP in Cyprus that must have been introduced from the mainland which suggests domestication in the adjacent mainland by then. A separate domestication also occurred in China. In India, pigs have been domesticated for a long time mostly in Goa and some rural areas for pig toilets. This was also done in China. 
though ecologically logical as well as economical. Pig toilets are waning in popularity as use of septic tanks and or sewerage systems is increasing in rural areas. Pigs were brought to southeastern North America from Europe by Hernando de Soto and other early Spanish explorers. Pigs are particularly valued in China and on certain oceanic islands, where their self-sufficiency allows them to be turned loose, although the practice is not without its drawbacks. The domestic pig is usually given the scientific name Sus scrofa, although some authors call it S. domesticus, reserving S. Scrofa for the wild boar. It was domesticated approximately 5,000 to 7,000 years ago. Their coats are coarse and bristly. They are born brownish colored and tend to turn more grayish colored with age. The upper canines form sharp distinctive tusks that curve outward and upward. Compared to other artiodactyls, their head is relatively long, pointed, and free of warts. Their head and body length ranges from 0.9 to 1.8 meters and they can weigh between 50 and 350 kilograms. In August 2015, a study looked at over 100 pig genome sequences to ascertain the process of domestication. The process of domestication was assumed to have been initiated by humans involved few individuals and relied on reproductive isolation between wild and domestic forms. The study found that the assumption of reproductive isolation with population bottlenecks were not supported. The study indicated that pigs were domesticated separately in Western Asia and China, with Western Asian pigs introduced into Europe where they crossed with wild boar. A model that fitted the data included admixture with a now extinct ghost population of wild pigs during the Pleistocene. The study also found that despite backcrossing with wild pigs, the genomes of domestic pigs have strong signatures of selection at DNA loci that affect behavior and morphology. The study concluded that human selection for domestic traits likely counteracted the homogenizing effect of gene flow from wild boars and created domestication islands in the genome. The same process may also apply to other domesticated animals. Pigs are intelligent and can be trained to perform numerous tasks and tricks. Recently, they have enjoyed a measure of popularity as house pets, particularly the dwarf breeds. Cultural and religious reference to pigs. Pigs appear in the traditional and popular arts, media, and cultures of many societies, where they sometimes carry religious symbolism. In Asia the wild boar is one of twelve animal images comprising the Chinese zodiac, while in Europe the boar represents a standard charge in heraldry. In Islam and Judaism pigs and those who handle them are viewed negatively. Pigs are frequently alluded to in folk art, idioms, metaphors, and proverbs. Environmental Impacts Domestic pigs that have escaped from farms or were allowed to forage in the wild, and in some cases wild boars which were introduced as prey for hunting, have given rise to large populations of feral pigs in North and South America, Australia, New Zealand, Hawaii, and other areas where pigs are not native. Accidental or deliberate releases of pigs into countries or environments where they are an alien species have caused extensive environmental changes change, their omnivorous diet, aggressive behavior, and their feeding method of rooting in the ground all combine to severely alter ecosystems unused to pigs. Pigs will even eat small animals and destroy nests of ground-nesting birds. The Invasive Species Specialist Group lists feral pigs on the list of the world's 100 worst invasive species and says, Feral pigs like other introduced mammals are major drivers of extinction and ecosystem change. They have been introduced into many parts of the world and will damage crops and home gardens as well as potentially spreading disease. They uproot large areas of land, eliminating native vegetation and spreading weeds. This results in habitat alteration, a change in plant succession and composition and a decrease in native fauna dependent on the original habitat. Health Issues Pigs can harbor a range of parasites and diseases that can be transmitted to humans. These include trichinosis, tanyosolium, cysticercosis, and brucellosis. 
Pigs are also known to host large concentrations of parasitic ascarid worms in the digestive tract. According to the USDA fact sheet, mutton pork can be enjoyed cooked rare at 145 degrees Fahrenheit with pink in the middle. Today, trichinellosis infections from eating undercooked pork are rare in more technologically developed countries due to refrigeration, health laws, and public awareness. Some religious groups have dietary laws that make pork and unclean meat and adherents sometimes interpret these health issues as validation of their views. Pigs have health issues of their own. Some strains of influenza are endemic in pigs. Pigs also can acquire human influenza. Pigs can be aggressive in defending themselves and their young. Pig-induced injuries are thus not unusual in areas where pigs are raised or where they form part of the wild or feral fauna. In November 2012 scientists managed to sequence the genome of the domestic pig. The similarities between the pig and human genomes mean that the new data may have wide applications in the study and treatment of human genetic diseases.